I was diagnosed with acid reflux when I was like 18 I think it used to be really bad like I would have heartburn every single day like all day long for a couple of years depression thing that they want you to fill out and I put three on everything besides the last one um, she said be as honest as possible like people are now like thinking that I'm lying about having depression and I'm like I was diagnosed when I was nine and I had to go on medication and it just it honestly crumbs on my shirt that's cute it honestly just it's affecting me a lot I feel like because I am I open up to you guys so much and I feel like I'm almost like getting taken granted for and like people are stalking me now I struggle really bad with anxiety I started getting anxiety when I was around 18 I'd have really bad panic attacks I'd be like just in a state of paralysis with my panic attack like I've gone to the hospital several times because because of it like I don't talk about this a lot because it's just something I don't really <laughs> like talking about but for a while there I kind of just like conquered it I did not get anxiety for a while but for I want to say about two to three years mm, I'm gonna say about two years I just I couldn't even like leave my house without having a panic attack and I couldn't go to the movie theaters, I couldn't do anything. Wherever there was just a lot of people I'd get really bad anxiety. <coughs> I've been back from my walk. See? <laughs> Crystal and I would do these um, exercises uh, where I would like straight up like dance slash exercise for over an hour. <sighs> Sorry, I just got done like having like an asthma attack straight up. So we would do that for like over an hour and this would happen. And it's just like super windy outside. It's scary though. Cause like in sixth grade, I think it was the worst when I ever had asthma, like it was really bad. I had like constant, I constantly had to get inhalers. I would wake up with, with asthma attacks, like just literally sleeping, I'd wake up with asthma attacks. Now here I am wearing flats and they freaking hurt because ever since I started working, I wear tennis shoes every day. My foot has officially like formed itself into my tennis shoe so now when i wear any other type of shoe or i'm not wearing shoes at all my feet just hurt really my left foot has been getting kind of swollen in the last like week and that's the same foot with my heel spur but i've had my heel spur for like a year and the swelling just started and heel spurs don't really have swelling so i don't really know what's wrong i can show you guys i guess and um they, uh disney's mom wants me to elevate my foot and stuff so i'll show you like how my foot usually looks and then i'll show you like how my other foot looks and I was planning on going to the hospital today, but I really just, I, I don't know what to do. But, like, this is how my foot normally looks. Like, fat, chunky foot. Like, and then this one is like this. It's really bad. We're at Walmart right now. Destiny just dropped me off in front. I don't really talk about this, but I've been having, like, this foot issue. It was my ankle, and now it's my heel, and it hurts really bad. Sometimes I'll stand up, and I physically can't even move. And it's... I don't know, it's really bad. It was traumatizing for me because as most of you know, I have gallstones. Like normally my gallstone attacks last like no longer than 10 minutes and they hurt really bad. But yesterday I woke up with a gallstone attack that I have never felt before. Like it was on my right side. It was going through my back. It was like radiating and it lasted for three hours. My take on doctors sometimes is kind of negative because I feel like some doctors are also kind of lazy because... I still remember when I knew, I knew I had gallstones and I went to the ER and they told me to go to this doctor and they thought it was something else and they wouldn't do any tests on me and I'm like, no, my homie, I have gallstones and they wouldn't believe me. They wouldn't do the test. They sent me home without doing the tests <laughs> and then a couple months later it just kept getting worse and worse and I was like, literally, I'm not leaving this place until you give me a test and they gave me a test and... I was right. I have to go into work early because I have to get a TB test, which I have gotten TB tests in the past when I was a teenager. I actually tested positive twice, but it was all like a mistake. The doctor told me that when you test positive for TB and you do not have TB, that just means that you were near someone who had TB. So as you guys know, like my back's been hurting a lot lately. It's because I have a slip disc bulge disc type deal and 
the last like month or so it's been the worst i think it's also because our bed is on the floor and that's like a whole other thing though. so i happened to mention to my doctor how i sleep at night i've had a lot of people ask me if i use all these pillows you know and i always say that i don't because i really don't um i use about three pillows i don't lay down when i sleep so i talked to my doctor about that and you know me and my awkward self i was like yeah i sleep when i sit up and oh, it's probably sleep apnea because i mean look at me you know i was just making stupid jokes i'm just like why do i do that when i'm nervous and like try to just be dumb like i'm just so dumb like i can't and she's like yeah that is sleep apnea like she was just out in front with it and she's like it is another woman comes back and she hands me because you know how like when you leave a hospital they give you like papers on what your diagnosis is she came back with papers about cellulitis and i was just like okay that's weird and she explained you know he's just giving you this just in case this is what it is and i'm just like okay like i know from experience everything about cellulitis because i've had it twice it was both times in high school the second time i actually was hospitalized because i was like literally on the verge of death so i went to the ER, had a horrible bladder infection okay simple enough i woke up the next day and my whole bottom of my leg was super red like hot and i knew exactly what it was I knew exactly what it was right off the bat. Cellulitis. The shivering, the fever, it wasn't because of my bladder infection. That was a coincidence. It was because I had cellulitis and it was growing. A few months ago, I was getting up off the bed and I felt the bottom of my stomach and it was lymphedema. I've had time to kind of come to terms with this. A week later, I noticed it in my right leg. If you guys didn't watch my last video, I was diagnosed with a bunch of different things and one of them is I have bipolar disorder. I told the people who matter and who I, who I know in real life, but I just wanted to update you guys. Um, I've been having panic attacks. Oh God. So I got my result of my results back and I do have cancer <laughs> I have womb cancer like I feel like I'm in a good mood but then I move just a little bit or I remember that my actual belly button is bleeding and I'm like oh oh yeah that's going on <laughs>